Yeah, hello and welcome to this quick tutorial where I want to briefly show you the new features of Orient World version 1.1. And the big thing that has changed is that in the advanced settings you can choose now what your world center is. And uh, so in the old version, in 1.0, you had always the uh, world center 0, 0, 0. And now you can change this to be the composition center. And um, to explain you the difference, I have prepared here the following clip. This is some footage my brother shot in Africa. And uh, first, obviously, we want to track it. So we go to animation um, track camera. And this takes a while to compute. So I just pause the recording for now. So now the camera solve is done. And let's say we now want to insert something in our scene. So let's first find a nice point where we can insert something. So let's say we want to insert something. Uh, maybe we go a bit further here. So does the points change? Uh, you see it's not so easy. Maybe at this point we want to insert something. So I right click and say create solid and camera. And now this should be our ground plane. And in the center of this ground plane, we want to insert something. So if we leave now the world center as comp center and click on apply here, orient world, la uh, world on layer, this layer, yeah, then this becomes our ground plane. It looks like nothing has changed. But if we now insert some layer, let's say we call it test and make it 3D, you can see it immediately jumps onto that plane on the center point. Yeah? And if you look at the position, you can see this is not at position 0, 0, 0. Yeah? And this is because uh, we've chosen the comp center. Yeah? And so this is half of the width of my composition. And this is half of the height of my composition. If you go look at my composition settings, I have 1920 width, and this is uh, half of this. And uh, so this is not exactly half of it, but if we set it to half of it, we would be exactly at the center. You can see this text is now a little bit offset it. But it's like, if you use half of this value and half of this value, you are in the middle of your composition, and then you're also here in the middle of this scene. Yeah. Um, in other words, if you set 0, 0, 0 to the world center, a layer shows up exactly at this point when you have here 0, 0, 0. And now with a comp center, um, you, it shows up exactly at this point if you set it at half your composition size, which is also somewhat intuitive because yeah, in 2D space, yeah, it's like this is 0, 0, 0, and this here is half of your width and half of your height. So in 2D, this is really um, the center. And so if you choose comp center as world center, then the 3D world that you orient with orient world behaves exactly like this. And this is also pretty nice because if you use 3D plugins like um, so 3D element or shapeshifter, then they behave exactly like this. So they assume like you have the center of your composition in uh, here and not in the upper left corner. So let me quickly show you this. I'm going to delete this and create a new solid and call this shapeshifter. And then we choose, we create another text layer and call it test. This is a 2D layer now and we move it exactly here on top of our center point because we want it later to appear uh, like on top of this center. Yeah. And then I go to layer precompose and say this is my shapeshifter depth and move all attributes to the new composition. And now I make it invisible and go to my shapeshifter layer and apply there actually the metal shapeshifter effect. And if we do this, uh, you can see currently it's not looking very interesting. What we still have to do, let me move this out of the way for a moment, is to set the displacement map to this uh, shapeshifter depth layer. And now you can see we have a test text here that is nicely extruded. Of course, currently it doesn't look very nice. Maybe it looks nicer if we also add here some reflection map, like this maybe. 
Yeah, now you can see the test uh, text 3D extruded by Shapeshifter. Uh, you can change here the displacement height also. Why is this not changing anything? Oh, sorry, I guess I, of course, I have to go here to thickness. This is what I want. So you have here true tr 3D text and it's nicely placed on this uh, uh, solid that we made our ground plane. And now if we m rotate, for example, our ground plane, say we rotate it 90 degrees around the y-axis, yeah, the y-axis is this up axis here and hit apply, you can see that the text nicely rotates together with our coordinate system. Yeah. So in other words, if you use a shapeshifter or element or whatever 3D plugin, it's best to, to choose the world center as comp center. If you only work with After Effects 3D layers, you have basically the choice. If you find it intuitive that the comp center is here in the middle of this crosshair, choose this one. If you find it more intuitive that 0, 0, 0 is really the coordinate that is this point, then do that. Okay, I hope this clarified a bit the irritation of how to use uh, 3D plugins uh, with Orient World. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for your attention.